in hindsight, I realized I never liked football. Yeah. I don't think that, I think that that's more common in the NFL and the NBA. Like guys I'll talk to uh, and I'll be like, a lot of these guys don't even seem to like basketball. And they're like, they don't. no, no, it's, it's, it's now it gets you what you need. It gets you yeah. what you're looking for at the moment. But what I really, the only thing I loved was playing outside all day with my friends. Mm-hmm. That's what I loved. But football, believe me, when I was done, people were like, we're ever going to do any commentary. I was like, dude, I'm finished. Like, I don't even want to, I have no desire. You don't watch I it wouldn't even don't. watch it. Yeah. One of the things, when I moved to LA back in 1997, there was no football teams here, which yep. was perfect. That's for why me. you moved here. It's okay. one of the reasons. It was literally like, I don't have to sit, look in the paper, you know, because yeah. I would be on teams and, and then get cut and then have to watch all the paper. All my friends and uh, are still on the team. And it was a, it was this horrible feeling of you're missing everything, you know. But when I moved out here, it was all entertainment. It was all that. And I was like, now I'm totally into this. I'm done with football. I don't want to be around it at all. It was crazy. See, I hate entertainment. <laughs> so, See, something you and I have in common is I don't <laughs> like what I'm doing either. Uh, well, I want to talk about the culture of of football yeah. we've got blocks are coming guys yeah it's so all right i've heard you say and i i heard the second hand i don't know if this is the thing you say publicly if it's not i'll cut it the nfl is prison with money that's right jail with money that was the thing Fantastic. i said that and i mean it it's changed a lot lately um there are things that have been happening i think because of social media but pre-social media NFL was it's alphas on alphas. It's all challenges. It's all one upmanship. Um, it's like being in prison and it's all a, a, it's like being hazed 24 seven. You know, like yeah. it's it never a rest period. Never. Yeah. A, it's it's uh, the coaches are like mm, they're looking to replace you every second. The other players are looking like you're a challenge. Like you're on the same team. Right. Like your brothers, so to speak. Yeah. You're on your same team, but you pray that your whoever's ahead of you gets hurt. Like yes. <laughs> that was the deal. Like, man, I really, really hope he breaks his leg today. Like, yeah. Uh, or you God, know, if you care about me at all. <laughs> you know, wait, wait, that's right before the prayer. Right before we get oh, out God, there. God, like, God. I really hope my man. Yeah gets his head busted. Number 38, God. Uh, yeah, we need we need some CTE to just yeah, sweep please. over everybody. Lord. Everybody today, Lord, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um and that can't be good. Like yeah. it's just not good. And and when people would it would come out and it would really I mean, there would come out like it wouldn't guys would just straight up yell at each other oh, like yeah, I'm bites, with you. Yeah. I I knew drug dealers in the NFL. Uh, oh, guys with, that were playing and dealing drugs? Oh, yeah, at the same time. Fantastic. It was just crazy. A couple um, of the guys from Dallas got super busted oh, dude, a few years ago. Dude on yeah. my team got busted. He ended up getting 41 years. Um, he's actually go- going to be coming out pretty soon. Fantastic. Um, Come and find us. It's got, yeah, it's kind of crazy, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's. I knew guys that would, and it was always this training day type atmosphere um, where people would, you would go out and the players would invite you like, oh man, come on. And you're like, oh my God, they, they want me to come out. But it, but it really became about getting dirt on you. So they would oh, go wow. out, you go out with the team, lots of crimes are committed, lots of weird things going on. This is in the weird, 90s. This isn't like- This is straight 90s. That long ago. No, this is not a long time. I remember keeping one player just, I remember he was like, hey man, there's a lot of prostitutes, a lot of drugs, and you just gotta keep me straight all night. <laughs> and that was my job. I was like to like pull him out of cars with prostitutes and make sure he makes it back for game day. And that was, and I'm like, oh man, I was not ready for that response. But he, but that was his thing to take me out. And then it was like, we know, you know, you were with me, so we we got something on you. You know what I mean? It was yeah. always like, you you want your family to find out? You want people to find? Out? So it's, it's always like. We, you go out. A form of extortion. It's straight training day, and now you're bonded through vice. 
You're not bonded through, oh man, we got a goal. Yeah. And we got this thing. We're going to beat the other team. It, yeah. It's <laughs> never like it, it. And now, when I say the NFL is a little different now, I mean, I've talked to some per- current players and they're like, wow, really? And I'm going, <laughs> dude, this is a whole different league, you know? Um, and, I, and I have to say, it's good. I, it, I look at what's happening now with the players and they're free to speak up a little more. Um, they're 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 literally retiring earlier. Yeah, I love when dudes retire. You see what I, I mean? Love it. I love, I it. love it. They go, I'm done. What Dude. do you mean? You're only playing four years? It's a horrible job. You oh. know why I'm retiring? This is horrible, and yep. I'm killing myself. Yep, yep. Every week, I'm killing myself. It's it. First, and then you got to know my rookie year. There was a guy named Mike Utley, and I remember my first game. I was on the Rams. We were playing the Lions, and he went went for a block and broke his neck and never walked again. We played the rest of that game. He was laying on the floor and they just put him in a gurney and he put his hand up and everybody and everybody was like, that's such a courageous move. Yeah. He, he gave a thumbs up. And then what happened with DeMar Hamlin when he collapsed? Yeah. They stopped the game. I was Yeah. I said, what the progress. Holy cow. You don't understand. Yeah. I was like, can you imagine if that game would have kept going? Yeah. So well, what are you media. guys? So are you guys in that situation? Th- he he. They cart him off, and then they you line back up. Is is the feeling like we're all gonna go seventy percent, or is it like ah uh, just mixed? Mixed. We. It was oh shit. This is for real. This is uh good. And they're like Terry going in. You're like, oh. I don't. You, you're you going through the motions. Yeah. I, I promise you, everyone at the end of that was like, you know, they were just, let's go through the motions. Let's make it look like we care. Like a scrimmage Let's go, let's go. I mean, and, but it was like, and then I remember, and then the same game, a friend of mine lost the tip of his finger. I'll never forget this. It was still in his glove when he pulled it off because he got it caught. And I was on the plane like, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like. <laughs> we were on our Something way back, and it was this. like, "Why? It's a game. It's a game." But it was imp- it was just important. It, people care, and blah, blah, blah. yeah. And, and I was just like, I remember that could be me. And I got and I thought about my kids, and I thought about my wife, and I thought about just like I I, I want to do more than this. Like football was not the end for me. I I, I always wanted to be in entertainment. Yeah, always. So yeah. my my goal was entertainment, but football was was like a means, but it wasn't the end. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.